So EMBRC is a research infrastructure. So we're the European Marine Biological Resource Center. And so our mission is predominantly to support marine biological and ecological research. We have a huge amount of uh, the part of the ocean that are unexplored. And I think it's also important to recognize that not only is our planet 75% water, but also about 80 or 90% of the living space on the planet is actually water. Le MBRC est une passerelle vers les informations et la connaissance sur la biodiversité marine en Europe. Ces informations sont importantes car elles vont aider les pays à créer des aires marines protégées, à respecter leurs engagements internationaux, à évaluer les politiques internationales telles que les objectifs de développement durable des Nations Unies. Eurogos is a recognized voice of operational oceanography in Europe and we established Biological Observation Working Group, which is led by Ian Bercy currently. Ian Bercy's key role in this uh, field is to really unite different research stations and institutions in Europe. And besides that, we also have a European Ocean Observing System framework, and Ian Bercy is part of that framework, helping to coordinate and facilitate the collaboration between different networks in Europe. Um, MBRC has a lot of activities and missions. Uh, we have a part that is related to European projects. We support the best of the research in biodiversity observation, bioprospecting, um, blue growth and uh, other related economic activities. We also have a real mission of biodiversity monitoring and observation that started quite recently. We are in fact in a prototype phase and this mission has the name of IMOBON. IMOBON is a European Marine Omics Biodiversity Observation Network. It's the first of its kind in Europe. We use DNA techniques that are scientifically called genomics. Why we use this one? Because DNA is the base of the variety of life at the little detail. And so looking at the differences in DNA in the environment, we can actually have information about the biodiversity in the ocean. So we have nine member countries and we have 70 odd institutes involved as well. And so these 70 sites provide a place where scientists and companies can come in and conduct their research using different facilities, different equipment, and most importantly, access to the biodiversity and the ecosystems close to the stations. Christina Berg Marine Research Center is located on the Swedish west coast and it has access to a wonderful variety of habitats and ecosystems. Researchers come to Christinenberg from all over the world. It's a very well-known place and a very popular place that you have this effective access to very unique habitats. We have uh, created a very good platform at Christinenberg to uh, stimulate innovation and uh, develop specific solutions to address, address problems uh, associated to the restoration of the ocean and also for directly boosting the blue economy. We have a lot of um, early career researchers here at the station and they are particularly interested in this uh, combination of research and technological development leading to innovation. We have uh, genetic observatories that we have established here. Example for this ARMS program, the artificial reef monitoring systems that we de deploy. And this is one way to observe the ocean as a network. And this helps us to really understand the changes and the status of the ocean on a very high scale. L'Europe contribue de façon significative au cadre global d'observation biologique marine. Elle le fait notamment par l'intermédiaire de consortiums pour une infrastructure de recherche européenne, les ERIC, tels que EMBRC, Euroargo ou LifeWatch. It's important to understand as well that the oceans are global. So we have local impacts and local factors. But the reality is that what happens in the sea is influenced sometimes by events that are on the other side of the planet. So a global coordination is absolutely essential when it comes to marine observation because we need to know what's going on across the globe to understand what's happening at the local scale. 
So the ocean is facing today a big issue because he is responsible for the balance of the planet from the climate up to the resources and the cycles that are uh, responsible of life. That's why having a, a holistic and synoptic view of the ecosystem is key. And to have this, we need a parallel implementation of a financial and funding system for long-term implementation. And understanding life in the ocean is absolutely crucial. Everybody on the planet depends on it every day. A huge amount of people depend on it for their food. It has an impact on the way that we use our land. And so without properly understanding these systems, we couldn't possibly ever pretend to properly understand the oceans. And for me, that is now the big frontier, is to close that gap about what we understand about the ocean and really get to a point where we can live in a sustainable way next to the ocean.